Hello guys, Xbox Fusion here, and today I'm going to show you how I create the balloon flying, the flying balloons that I made. Uh, so you can click on the description. There will be a link for a video on how to create a balloon. Uh, and now I'm going to show you how to animate the things that I, the balloons that I'm floating and flying. So yeah, now that we have the balloon, we can. Uh, make the balloon smaller so it's better now let's copy and paste the balloon and copy the, the material that we made for the balloon uh, change the color to a uh, whatever let's say red and then the other one I'm gonna make it blue you can <coughs> use whatever materials you like whoops now let's drag this and drop it there so it looks like that so we have two balloons let's ren hit render and they look black that's really nice it's not racist okay just saying uh, let's see what we can do we can add some diffusion maybe uh, let's see now if we hit oh damn it if we hit ran there, damn it. Uh, it's the same thing that happened. So let's find a new picture. Yes, let's find a new picture. Let's go to Google and fi find a HDRI sky. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Let's go to Google Images and try to find something like that. Let's find a large size so it doesn't look bad. Oh, excuse me again. Let's find something good. Uh, no, let's see another one. Maybe this one, it will be nice. It's really large, as you can see there. And it looks nice, it looks nice. Yes, save image as... Just right click on it if you don't know how to download an image from Google. Uh, I'm gonna save it on, you know, desktops, desktop. And now... Let's go to the, mater the sky material and let's go to the luminance. Whoops. Clear that load another image and let's try to find it uh huh let's see there you go uh, nope and now if we hit render still black yes uh, we can go like this maybe Yes, and it's still black. I don't know why. Maybe we can add some lights to it. I don't know. Maybe another light back there. And let's see it render. But now it looks weird. <laughs> looks so fake. If we go like this. It looks really fake. Maybe we can turn down the lights and... Add some ambient occlusion, yes, yes, good idea. Maybe go to effects and ambient occlusion, so it looks better. And we're gonna change the output uh, to 720. And now, if we hit render, there we go. That's looking better, looking better. Now that we have the whole lighting set up, now we can we can make the animation. Yes, yes. Let's make an emitter. Uh, let's see. Let's make this bigger. Let's drag the balloons to the emitter now. Now go to the emitter thing and show objects right there. Check when is, what it says show objects. Now if you press play, you can see the balloons are going like that. Really bad, really bad. And it will slow down. Your computer will slow down, so... Not nice. 
Let's take the lights off, maybe, maybe. Yes, let's leave that one light on. Yeah, that looks way better. Or in, instead of using a sky, you can use a preset from from the content browser. Maybe we can go to visuals and some environment. Yeah, maybe not environment, camera animation. Well, let's see. Material. Maybe not visual, maybe studios, studio. Or... Broadcast maybe presets broadcast counter resources light images pictures oh, I don't know where to find these materials natural it should be a sky one somewhere in here uh should be a sky preset maybe oh here sky oh my god uh, we can use something like you know what uh, maybe maybe this one this will do it uh, okay now we can drag this pre uh, copy and then we can paste it on here yes Now if we press play, let's see how it looks like. Looking better. Yes, looking better. Uh the <coughs> the sun is right there, so I'm just gonna put it like that. Just fix the camera if you want. So it's like that. Yeah. Uh, nice. Now we can play with these particle settings. We can turn down the birth editor and the birth render to 6 and 6, yes. Now start emission and stop emission. Uh, let's turn the stop emission to frame 200. Oh yes, and turn the frames up to 50, 1, 150 maybe. Uh, we can change the variation here. Just turn this up. Turn this down. Now we can go to emitter and maybe make uh, the emitter longer, uh, bigger. Let's just turn it to 200 centimeters. Yes. And the angle, it will. It's that thing that where the balloons will spawn. Let's just say spawn. So let's turn this up. Uh, maybe to yes, something like that. You can play with this now. If we hit play, you can see the balloons are one spawn. One, one is going like this. One is um ah oh, spawning in this side, and then the other one is here, and they're all over the place. Now let's zoom out. And yes. Now let's play with the speed. Uh, let's turn the speed up to to 200. It will be nice, I think. Yes. Maybe m more more speed to maybe 350 or 360. 360 will be fine. Yeah, there you go. Now, uh, select the emitter and go to this uh, icon and put some turbulence and some wind. So now click the emitter again and go to the same button and put some wind. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, let's put the scale a little bit bigger. Not that big, maybe. 100 maybe 20 will be good 20 25 now let's hit 
so they're like going up and down up and down maybe more turbulence will be nice maybe to 50 50 will do it so like going up and down up and down something like that and let's increase the wind let's put some turbulence in here Uh, maybe 25 will, will be nice. I don't know. You can play with these settings. Whatever fits your taste. Like one of the good YouTubers said. Ali. Yes. Project 4D guy. Yeah, I love his videos. Uh, maybe this one. To 15 you can play. Let's make a 15. Now let's go back and hit play. That looks better than mine. That the one that I made, maybe. Maybe add more frames. Your computer will slow down because how many sec? Are there are a lot of segments right now. Let me just tell you how many segments this has, uh, and you can select everything and then hit right click on it. And oh wait, I can't see it. Object information and polygons are 161,272 polygons right now. So that's a lot of polygons. My computer shouldn't be lagging with that many polygons. I don't know why it's lagging. See it slowing down. You can put less poly uh, less um, you know in this. Turn down the birth rate editor and render so it's slow less balloons going out. Oh, yeah, that's kind of better. <clears throat> kind of better. That's better, better. Now, oh, damn it. See, it goes really fast. And then it, it slows down. So that's kind of bad. Let's just play and then hit. I'm gonna hit render so you guys can see it. Now let's hit render. And you can see the the, the blue balloons but the the red one looks weird. Maybe the light what is the light? Uh, let's just create a camera so I can move around. Oh, the light is somewhere here, so maybe we can put it here. Now let's go back to the camera, and you can see more the the. But you can add you can add luminance if you want. Make it red, then make this one blue. Yeah, something like that. And now let's hit render and it will look weird. There you go. It looks more, more fake. You can turn down the luminance if you want, just a little bit. So it looks more realistic. Let's hit render again. And there you go, that looks way better than mine. Then I just went to After Effects and put some color correction with that magic the magic bullet looks really awesome plugin oh yes that's how I did this really simple and in a short time so yeah guys thanks for watching please rate the video comment and don't forget to subscribe peace